international flights will remain banned till April 14th in India, the government has announced today and made a complete national lockdown to fight the virus. A week-long pack imposed last week has been extended, as announced by the Civil Aviation Ministry today. The ban will not apply to cargo flights or those specially permitted by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation. Domestic flights have been banned till March 31st. The All India Institute of Medical Sciences has set up a task force to develop a management protocol for COVID-19 and has constituted several committees to be able to respond to challenges which may emerge in the coming days due to the rising number of infections. A 70-year-old woman from Karnataka's Chikkabalapura district has died after testing positive for coronavirus. She had returned to India from Mecca in Saudi Arabia on March 14th and died on March 24th at a designated hospital in Bengaluru. This is the second coronavirus fatality in the state. According to the health department, the total number of coronavirus cases in Karnataka has risen to 55. While briefing on the coronavirus outbreak, the Health Ministry has said that there is still no hard evidence to say that there has been community transmission of coronavirus in India. While dedicated COVID hospitals are being built in 17 states across the country, according to the official figures, 42 fresh cases and 4 deaths related to COVID-19 have been reported in the last 24 hours. Total number of cases stand at 649, while 17 states have started work on earmarking hospitals for dedicated treatment of COVID-19 patients. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman announced a Rs 1,70,000 crore relief package for the poor. One set of measures by the government is direct cash transfer and another set of measures is food security. Also, Nirmala Sitaraman announced a Rs 50 lakh per person medical insurance cover for essential service providers including the doctors. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, who has been critical of the government's handling of the coronavirus pandemic so far, said that the financial assistance package announced by the Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman is the first step in the right direction. He tweeted that the government announced today a financial assistance package is the first step in the right direction. India owes a debt to its farmers, daily wage earners, labourers, women and elderly who are bearing the brunt of the ongoing lockdown.